Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to your source for free bodyweight training workouts that you can do at any point in time. This is 30 for 30 and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left all my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double because all right, here we go, 30 for 30. On the agenda today is abdominals. It's gonna burn. It's a pretty quick workout, but I promise you, you're gonna feel it. Now, if you don't know already, every morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post our new workouts. If there's not a workout posted by that time, it's a rest day. Recover, eat healthy, relax, and then you can jump right in for the next workout, probably the next day. Now before we get started, I wanna give you a few tips that you can utilize through your workouts and also outside of the workout. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, quick tip number one. Place your hands under your butt if your lower back keeps arching. We want this to be flat on the ground through the entire workout. Number two, don't be afraid to bend your knees slightly if your hip flexors are burning a lot. And I mean a lot. This is not cheating. Number three, always have your chin suspended and keep your head about one inch off the ground. Number four, focus on squeezing your abs the entire movement. That's the point of this workout. Don't use unnecessary muscles. Number five, we are back at it with the crazy new greens. You can pick some up. The link is in the bio of this video. And number six and last, do some stretching and cardio after today's workout. It's always good to push yourself when needed. Now let's jump right into the workout. All right, here we go. We're gonna be doing some supersets. I want your rest periods to be anywhere from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. If you're a beginner, you're gonna go more towards a minute. We have roll-ups going into pulsators, okay? So roll-ups, all we're gonna do is flex our knees, keep our chin suspended back. Remember, one inch off of the ground. Squeeze in your abs. You notice how it's not fully in this curved position. We don't like that, so we're gonna squeeze them in as much as possible, okay? Now, we're gonna put our hands on our thighs, right here. All we're gonna do is roll up and back down. We're trying to touch the top of our knees, right here. Boom, and back down. One more, and back down. You don't wanna be rounding your back and trying to touch the front of your knees. That's not the movement. It's nice and subtle, bringing everything up at once in a neutral spine. Then we're gonna be going straight into pulsators. Now these are gonna be six inches, which means if your lower back is arched, you wanna just tuck it in, squeeze everything in, squeeze in your abs, keep that chin a little bit back, it's suspended. You can place your hands under your butt if you would like. Pulsators are gonna be coming up six inches off of the ground right here, and all you're gonna do is come up and down as so. Now you don't wanna be rocking everywhere and flying. You don't want any of that. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, you can bring them a little higher and bend your knees slightly and come up and down. And that is your first superset. Yeah, buddy, <laughs> this superset really burns. Trust me on that one. We're gonna start off with 90 degree flutter kicks. So in that six inch position, keeping our chin suspended about one inch off the ground. Remember, don't forget, make sure your lower spine is not arched. I used to do this all the time. It's incorrect. Squeeze in as much as possible. Now, you put your hands under your butt if you would like or to your side and pressing into the ground. You're gonna lift your feet six inches off the ground and we're gonna be fluttering all the way up and then all the way back down. Now you don't wanna to come too high where that lower spine, you see that lower spine right here? It is coming up off of the ground, we don't want that. So a little bit less than 90 degrees of that hip angle right here. So right, and it's fine if your knees bend a little bit, but coming right back down, okay? Each way will be one. Then we're gonna be moving straight into six inch lateral. So that six inch position here, okay? And you're just gonna be coming side by side. Side by side. And it's gonna be about eight to 10 inches each way. Making sure again, that low spine is staying on the ground. And then we're gonna be finishing off with nice and easy six inch holds, baby. Here we go. Just 20 seconds, squeezing in everything as much as possible, staying tight, keeping everything in that lower spine down and attached to the ground. And there you have it, that's your superset. All right, final superset, this is gonna burn. I want you to rest for this one 30 seconds, no longer. We have plank crunches, so we're gonna go into a plank position as so, okay? Very important stuff here. Your arms should be about eight inches from each other, eight inches to 12 inches away from each other, pushing away from the ground. Notice how I'm not here, I'm pushing away. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart, squeezing in your ribs and pushing 
away from the ground. Now, open up your hands, press them into the ground. What you're going to do is just slightly flex at your hips and then come right back down. You can bend your knees if you would like. If not, that's completely fine as well. Go up, back down, up, back down. Going straight into six inch circles. So, we're gonna be on our backs. Remember, head is gonna be just about an inch from the ground, squeezing in our abs, making sure everything's tight. Our lower spine is gonna be attached to the ground. And we're doing circles. So, you're gonna be in this position, six, feet off, six inches off the ground, bottom, and we're gonna be going in circles, but they're not gonna be too high. I don't want you to go like this. It's not proper. We want smaller circles as so. And that will be one, and then coming back will be one. All right, then we're gonna be moving straight into heel taps. So on your back, remember, head just an inch off the ground. This is also gonna build you know, some nice neck muscles. You look all good. Squeeze in those abs to the ground right here. Flex your knee about shoulder width apart with your feet on the floor. And all you're gonna do is slide to touch the other side of the heel. You do not want to flex your neck like this through the whole movement. It's gonna put way too much stress on that spine. So right here, sliding, 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 tap, tap, tap. And then finally, we're gonna finish it off with toe touches. So you're gonna flex at your hips right here, as so, all right? If you can only go this far, that's completely fine. Bend your knees and you're gonna be just fine through the whole movement. But if you wanna make it more advanced, you have a little bit more flexibility, come up a little bit higher, okay? And what you're going to do, Cross your hands as so, cross. One over the other, and you're gonna reach for the stars. Reach for those toes. Most important thing here is your neck. You don't wanna be here. No flexion. Keep it as extended as possible, and raise with your shoulders and with your abs. Ah, that's your last superset. All right, there you have it. That is your workout for the day 30 for 30, which means every morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post these videos. So turn your post notifications on. If it's not posted, it's a rest day. Recover and trust the process. Also, don't forget about your macronutrients and what you're putting into your body. Nutrition is everything when it comes to training and building the body that you want. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below with some feedback. Do you like the workouts? Do you hate the workouts? Do you like my beard? Do you like my hat? <laughs> Follow my Instagram at the B Myers and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.